progress of humankind is written in the history of its tools. Nowhere is this more evident than in the field of the graphic arts. From the crude daubing implements that were used to create the earliest known paintings some 15,000 years ago, to the simple bronze chisels that carved the hieroglyphs on the walls of the tombs of the Egyptian kings, to the precision brushwork of the medieval illuminated manuscripts, to the advent of Gutenberg's movable type printing press, all the way to today's high-speed digital color printing presses. Each time a graphic artist gets a hold of a new and important tool, the result is equally new and important. The Commodore Amiga 2000 personal computer is radically expanding the art of the possible in the world of art and design. We're going to show you ways you can use this affordable new tool to expand the art of the possible in your studio or business. As a way to illustrate in 4096 colors, design logos and packages, to desktop publish in black and white and in color, and as a way to make winning presentations in virtually any medium. Now, look at what the Amiga 2000 can do for you. These incredible illustrations were created using the Commodore Amiga 2000 and powerful yet simple graphic software. The Amiga's palette of 4096 colors opens new worlds of possibilities to the graphic artist, putting no limitations on an artist's expression of style, or form, or texture. Even artists who have never touched a computer before adapt naturally and quickly to creating graphics on an Amiga. I draw kids. Um, I'm a storyboard artist and I specialize in uh, cute, playful little kids uh, ages uh, from infants to five years old. Peggy Walker is a professional illustrator by trade. Normally she creates her illustrations with pencils, pens and paper. This is definitely my first time working with a computer. I am very, very much a neophyte. My first concerns with um, translating my drawing is I was, I was terrified that I wouldn't be able to get the same amount of warmth and humor that I get in my drawings um, with an electronic image. That's, I, that, I, that would be the fear of any illustrator. But Peggy's fears proved unfounded. In just a few hours, she had mastered the basics of Amiga illustration. I'm amazed the Amiga um, captured the, the warmth, the humor, you know, everything that's the signature of my style. Peggy used Deluxe Paint 2 graphic software from Electronic Arts and the Summa Sketch drawing tablet. I don't want to have to be a computer scientist in order to um, draw a circle. I want it to be simple, direct. I have to say that working with the pen was, um, it was quite comfortable and I was able to, um, you know, by selecting different white lines on the menu, you know, to put in more texture. Let's say, for example, in the hair. I found that I had more at my fingertips than I normally would have if I'm working with pencil and magic marker. One wonderful feature of the Amiga is that you can turn on a stencil so that you don't have to worry about your black line uh, being erased once you start applying color, which is exactly what I did. It was very easy, very simple, very quick. And I was you know, totally surprised to find out that I could do that. You can, you can actually, Peggy Walker can come out on the computer. I'd been interested in computers for a couple of years, but never in an artistic sense. And as soon as I saw the Amiga, it was like love at first sight. Illustrator and designer Richard Payne has used the Amiga in literally hundreds of projects, including package design, brochures, slideshows, and magazine covers. I was doing some commercial art. I was just breaking into the field. I did um, some airbrush illustration, some pen and ink. The handheld stylus um, on the Suma Sketch tablet was perfect for me. If you press this button up here, it's almost like pressing your trigger on your airbrush. And you can get a kind of natural feel with it. Or if you want, and when I do black and white work, I use the pen part of it. You press down on the point, and when you press down, you actually get lines on the screen. So it feels as if you're drawing on a piece of paper. For about half the jobs I do, I use a program like Deluxe Paint 2. And it's a pretty full-featured program for illustration. It has 32 colors on screen at once out of 4096, which is nice. You can zoom in for detail work. You, you can undo your last mistake. <laughs> I like that part. You can pick up a hunk of your picture, and reposition it, and move it all over the screen. And I find that useful when I'm designing and coming up with ideas for clients. And they like that also. It's quick. 
for more sophisticated effects, I'd use a program like Photon Paint. And it lets me use all 4,096 colors at once, and I can get a real painterly feel instead of more computer feel. I'd say one of the major advantages that the Amiga has over a computer like the Macintosh SE is that the Amiga has something called multitasking, which is the ability to run several programs at once. And I use it when I run Deluxe Paint 2 and Photon Paint. Both programs are accessible whenever I need them. I just drag the window down and point, and I can work in it. It saves a lot of time. There's a special class of Amiga software that lets you create three-dimensional graphics that you can view from various perspectives. Products like Impulse Software Silver, Byte by Byte Sculpt 3D, and Micro Magic's Forms in Flight are great for designing models of 3D objects without using a drawing table. I used the 3D graphics program to let me look at different views of a rocking chair. You tell the computer which perspective you want. Here's a three-quarter view, and here's a side view. Here's a view from above the rear, and a faraway shot. You can capture live images, photographs, or pictures with a photo digitizing system like Nutex Digiview. Through a video scanning process, it can make detailed replicas of your originals in 4,096 colors or 16 shades of gray. I use digitized pictures a couple different ways. One way I can use it is I can trim them and position them in programs like DigiPaint or uh, Photon Paint. These programs are ideal for this. The other thing I can do is digitize logos, clean them up in an image processing program, like PixMate, and then import them into a graphics and paint program. From there, it's easy to change colors and sizes. <laughs> Just about as easy as you can click the button of your mouse. It's that simple. Because with the Amiga 2000, it's so easy to change colors, shapes, and sizes, it makes an ideal tool for logo and package design. Let me take you through an example. I started by giving the logo some depth. I made a copy of it in black and moved it slightly for a drop shadow effect. Then I created a squiggly blue line that I combined with the logo. And then I slid it into the lower right hand corner of the design. I added a little new in the upper left hand corner. Later, I drew a 3D box outline and then added a colored background pattern. From there, it was easy to change the design by changing colors, the size of the logos, the number of the logos, and even the shape of the package. I can produce a dozen designs in nearly the same amount of time as I can produce one design by hand. There are several ways to translate your package design from the Amiga screen to a finished package comp. You could print out your designs on any number of high resolution color printers, like this CalComp Color Master. The printed art can then be trimmed, sprayed with adhesive, and applied to a dummy package. If you need larger size package comps, you can color stat the art that comes out of the printer or use an enlarging color photocopier like the Canon laser copier. With a laser printer and desktop publishing software, you can create your own near typeset quality package copy on paper or transparencies. But that's just the beginning of the possibilities with Amiga 2000 desktop publishing. Well, the Amiga is like having a type shop in my studio. Neil Billings has run design departments in two of America's largest advertising agencies. My responsibility is to see to it that the work, uh, mechanicals, comps, pay stops, uh, they're done in a timely fashion, quality work. The challenge is to do it better, faster, and cheaper, and the Amiga helps me do it. Instead of using Greek body copy or press-on type, Neil now uses the Amiga 2000 and a laser printer to put together his ad comps. Freelance designer Carl Denham has designed a restaurant logo and menu. But these weren't roughs or comps. Carl actually took them to completion using the Amiga 2000. I created the basic design in Ages Draw Plus, a structured drawing program with a number of tools for making geometric objects. I moved the illustration into Gold Disk Professional Page Program, where I laid out the menu and positioned the logo. For the letterhead, I loaded in an avant-garde typeface and then typed in the text. Carl made a test print of the menu on a laser printer. Then by previous arrangement with a local printer, he sent the menu file via modem over the telephone to a Linotronic 300 phototype setter, which can print out Amiga text and graphics at 2400 dots per inch. And that's good enough for final artwork. If you told me I can only use black and white, it would be like tying my hands. Um, I, I just couldn't operate. 
The Amiga 2000 enables me to use up to 4,096 colors. The Amiga 2000 is breaking new ground in color desktop publishing. Using Gold Disk's professional page in the Linotronic, you can create your own four color separations. You're looking at a color key that came right out of the photo typesetter. From here, it's easy to go to plates in your final printing. It gives me control of the process. That's the beauty of it. The Amiga 2000 also gives you that same kind of control over how you present your ideas to your clients. A lot of times it's not necessarily the quality of your work, but how you present it that's going to get you the job. Making 35 millimeter slide presentations is fast, easy, and inexpensive with an Amiga 2000, the Polaroid palette, and Liquid Lights imprint software. The palette hooks right to the Amiga. It has an automated camera that squeezes off the shots one at a time. The software controls everything. And font packages like Kara fonts give slides extra life and dimension. Sometimes I create electronic slideshows, and um, the difference between an electronic slideshow and a regular one is instead of using a slide projector, you're using the Amiga, and it's going directly to an RGB monitor or a widescreen projection TV. Stunning animated video presentations can be created with the Amiga 2000 and any number of affordable add-ons. In fact, the Amiga's been used by network TV producers to create sophisticated special effects. But it doesn't matter whether you're using professional video equipment or your home VCR. The Amiga 2000 can bring your ideas alive. The Amiga 2000, a versatile, affordable, and powerful tool for today's graphics professional. Redefining the art of the possible. I found that I had more at my fingertips than I normally would have if I'm working with pencil and magic marker. I can produce a dozen designs in nearly the same amount of time as I can produce one design by hand. Well, the Amiga is like having a type shop in my studio. A lot of times it's not necessarily the quality of your work, but how you present it that's going to get you the job. Expand the art of the possible in your design studio. Ask your authorized dealer for more information and a demonstration, and put the Commodore Amiga 2000 to work for you. Only Amiga makes it possible. Keep watching for an in-depth listing of the software and peripherals that let you do everything you've seen in this video, and more.